So this is not hunting. This is culling. Just on my way home and I was checking the dipstick at Rock and Roll because we've uh, done a patch on that tank and while I was up on the tank I saw a couple of camels that Danny was talking about earlier today. So I've got the AIA, I've got the optic on it, a couple of mags and uh, call Danny up see where he is but oh, I've got a bit more than I thought I was gonna have copy Danny you receiving yeah, gotcha. yeah mate I'm at rock and roll and I've got around 25 or 30 camels here Whereabouts are you? Just gone past Brumby. Yeah, Rog, I'll be uh, I'll be getting stuck into them, so um, I'll just leave the car on the road. So the feed error is that, round slipping forward in the mag. Look at him eating the Gigi, I've never seen that before. We'll just see how close we can get before I have to start getting stuck into them. This is why I use a red dot, you know, all my chopper work, you're nice and close. Got a fresh born baby just there. They've never seen people before. They'll probably never want to again. Wind him down to low power. Hello camel, hello. Magazine. So you can see how being in West Australia is a little bit frustrating because we don't have anything really that we can use to take out these large groups. I'll get him later. Safe. Now, some people were commenting on uh, not knowing what I'm doing. My personal kill tally is something extremely concerning. Now, as you can see, he's been hitting not the best spot, but that was because as you start shooting more, things become a little less accurate. So this is not hunting. 
This is culling. Now why I don't use a teaker is that they swell in their action after about 20 rounds when you're packing them out like this. moving. They go for a mag load in these movements. Just so I can keep the rounds ready to go down. So I leave those bright blue packets so as I go through doing a final clearance I can make sure that I remember what I did at which location. So that comes down to the number of animals, the group size, also where I travelled and I backlog all my shots. Hey buddy. Now the jig is up and this fella knows.
you're the most fucking expensive camel. Jesus. That's why you don't go for headshots. Too many chances you'll fuck up. Now this isn't your average. I go out on the weekend, shoot a deer. Maybe I'll be on the range shooting static targets in a nice controlled environment. Might even shoot Ruth. This is a different game. Oh, I don't like the sun there. Uh, bolt lock. All right, even this old girl's heating up. Not really surprising. Oh look, I've got one round left. Pulled that shot on that boy. Bugger that those ones got away with that stoppage. That's for reliability on this rifle. Unfortunately, I live in Western Australia. So my replacement rifle still has to go for, go through a full application period, a full period of time, as if I was buying a rifle for the first time. It's really frustrating. One, the wind, because it's gonna be terrible to edit. But two, that when you've got a need like this, have backup rifles, and you've got your backup rifle in the store, you've got a new one on its way, it's the same type, same caliber. And so I'm out here using this, which is what I've got, use the tools you got, to the best of your ability. So, I'm just gonna get onto the track here, because those ones have bolted to the wind, so they're, they're heading to my south. And I will make my way back to the car, 
retrace my steps, make sure everything I shot is dead. Bit of premiere going live in 10 minutes. And these guys here are why I like to get close. Go boy. You go get a drink, mate. Get used to those yards. Get you in a couple of weeks. All right, so it's no magazine, bridge is clear. All good. All right, so one of the reasons why I haven't been running an optic on this rifle for a while and I've been running a red dot was for the helicopter work. So in the helicopter, you're nice and close. You're not doing really much more than uh, 50 meters. And you can chase them over everything. Now, I had to remove the original iron sights to be able to comfortably work this bolt. So you can see, there's a several times where I've slammed and had to slam it forwards to get the pick up. That's this ramp just here. And just because the rounds sit, just a little bit proud. So if I was going to be playing with it, I would work it down a bit. There's Danny. He's got the knives. Just going to close the bolt. Drop my mag in. Go for a jog. I'm back of the ute now, all good. If you see any, you can let them have it. Okay, so back in the car, on my way home. They're all clear, so yeah, that's uh, always nice. Saves a bit of ammo. Um, yeah, so any rifle will have stoppages. I'll be trying not to talk about politics on, on the channel because it just sort of takes away from the day-to-day -day and what's going on. There are some proposed changes that are up for input. So if you're in Western Australia, I urge you to have a look at the firearms reforms that have been proposed and also urge you to look into the Law Reform Commission Project 105 which was a report and anal analysis on the firearms laws and legislation in Western Australia. And you'll find that those recommendations there are a lot more sensible and practical than what has been put forwards today. I really wasn't expecting to see a, a group that big uh, this early, but we've been seeing a lot of prints and there are the indications. So we're gonna be um, reaching out to some of our regular guys, some of our teams that we use, and we don't show them in the videos just so they don't get pestered by people saying, can we come shoot with you? You know, we wanna go shoot cameras. Um, it's a bit of an invite only situation I, I really appreciate everyone who reaches out and um, and offers their help it is it's great to see that people want to do their part and that's also again why you should jump onto the submissions and talk about why if they start restricting the number of firearms that recreational firearms owners can have those that do provide services to primary producers are going to suffer and I, um, I, I can't see any logic behind 
these changes and how they're going to combat the illegal firearms trade. So, yeah, get on there, have your say, and um, make sure you support those that support you. So, you know, jump onto and join the um, Sporting Shooters Association of Australia, and they do they do a lot. Um, and also the Shooters, Fishers, Farmers Party of Western Australia. They are there, they are working on it, they are developing policies. And um, if we can get as many members of the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party as we have subscribers on this channel, we'll have a good chance to actually speak up and represent regional Australia and those who enjoy those traditional those traditional aspects of life hunting fishing farming i mean got to remember that it's shooters fishers and farmers party it's for the farmers it's about the farmers and um, representing them and their needs not a uh, inner city but we've got to speak out and otherwise we're going to notice more and more parts of our industry getting destroyed and dismantled just like we're seeing live export getting pulled to pieces by the Labor Party. So, don't let them win. Alright, cheers everyone. Have a good one.